Hi guys, this is DK Knight, and I'll be giving you a hands-on review of the Alienware Tactics mouse. The first thing I'd like to talk about here is Alienware's packaging route. The, this, it's a compact style case with rounded edges where the user's fingers would come into contact with. This is a very good sign as many other mice and peripherals are packed in horrible plastic containers that basically force you to use scissors and knives to cut through, just further opening up the potential for superficial injuries. This packaging, however, is excellent. Like, just take a look at it. Like, you've got, uh, you know, the typical stickers, like, you know, which seal the box nice and tight. Um, and, uh, you know, Aside from maybe like a you know exacto blade to slice open the, the the glue holding the tape tape together. Aside from that, you know there's no real risk of injury. It's it's a small thing, but still, you know how many of us have injured ourselves like opening up uh, peripherals. This is a uh, the way to do it, guys. Like anyone who's manufacturing uh, peripherals, mice, keyboards, you name it, go with something like this. Like it, it really goes a long way. Uh, first off. Okay, on to the review of the actual mouse itself, which many of you will immediately notice of uh, the Alien Tactics mouse, uh, is its similarity in shape to the Logitech G9X mouse, like the positioning of the sensitivity buttons, uh, the scroll wheel, the braided cord, that's always a good sign of quality. And uh, what we'd like to do here is really investigate the underside of the mouse, uh, which we will find uh, two buttons, uh, the dual mode uh, scroll as well as the profile button. Uh, just a slight bit unusual to have to flip the mouse over in order to reach uh, the profile button, but uh, you know, that's uh, just how it's designed. Now let's uh, have a look at the dual scroll mode, and by uh, clicking this button here, we can uh, we can basically toggle between a freely scrolling mouse wheel, a rapid fire scrolling, and uh, for more precision, we would uh, toggle this button once again, and uh, that would enter us into the uh, notched mode where you feel every mouse click. Um, mouse feel is uh, reasonably good, spawns fast, side buttons are easily accessible, it's nice, um, it's got a satisfying click to them, and um, with the sensitivity buttons, they're placed out of the way uh, here so that you couldn't possibly click these two buttons by accident. Uh, so that's a, that's a good thing. Um, I think it's, uh, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, it's probably good design. Although, um, if you wanted to customize these sensitivity buttons towards some other purpose, it's going to be awkward uh, to, to actually use. But in any event, um, onto the sensitivity levels. Um, I found that uh, the medium setting uh, which the mouse is currently configured to is overall the best setting in terms of uh, precision and speed. Um, I found that uh, if you were to configure the mouse uh, to the lowest setting that's just too slow. You're just not able to move the mouse anywhere on the screen where you need to and uh, on the other extreme the highest setting, uh, that just throws the cursor all over the place. And uh, it's just uh, not really a productive way to get anything done here. So hence, uh, back to the medium setting, which grants, you know, just the best, best case scenario for all uses, whether it be productivity work or gaming for that matter. Now, on the whole, uh, this is a fairly uh, unremarkable mouse. Uh, it doesn't do anything terribly spectacular, but it doesn't fail in anything either. The driver software which comes with the mouse allows for some basic customization of the features of this mouse, whereupon you can configure the LED display of the that uh, little Alienware uh, LED there, as well as the color scheme of the sensitivity lights as well to something different, purple if you like, or whatever. Um, you can also uh, customize uh, to the point where for perhaps if you receive a new email message, these you can have these buttons light up red, for example, and you know have a little visual mouse notification if that's what you want. Now, in any event, if you're looking for a new mouse, or if you're looking to replace an existing mouse, be sure to check out websites such as redflagdeals.com as this mouse has been avail available for 
uh, as little as uh, $40, uh, when it normally retails for closer to $99. Now, at $40 and lower, this mouse is very good value, uh, highly recommended. Uh, at $99, well, not so much. Uh, you could probably find a, a lot more uh, feature-rich mice for the, that $99 range. Uh, but in any event, uh, uh, definitely check out the, those types of websites and uh, be sure to keep an eye out for this mouse. In any event, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Alienware Tactics mouse.